great. Can you hear me? You love me, my darling. Lovely, lovely. You can't see me though, can you? I can't see you, no. Can you see me? I can see you. I should have told you to have another device logged on. Oh, oh. look at that gorgeous girl that's just coming to oh, shop. You sure that's your wife and not your daughter? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, girl. Whoa, look at her. Barbados <laughs> suits you, darling. It suits you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Should we use the phone? The phone doesn't have Zoom on it. No, well, I mean, if you've got... <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Hi, Jackie. Jackie, hello darling, you got everyone out there. Well, yeah. Yeah. We, are, we are actually live at the moment, so if you if somebody's got a All device... Right, so we wanted to make sure that we're helping out, we love the radio station, think it's the best, so we're so honoured yeah. in that, but we're here. Well, thank you, you. Yeah. thank you. I tell you what, if one of you's got a device in the place, another device, go and click on to my Facebook page and you'll be able to see uh, actually what's actually going out, all right? All right, okay. But you are live right now, so say hi I'm to right. everyone right. Love that's watching you. Love you, my friends. Love you, miss you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, right? Let's in, let's enlarge yeah. you. Let's enlarge you. Why are we not? In, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm still getting used to this technology, I've got to tell you, Rick, I really am. But um, we're here and we're doing it and we're live. We've played quite a few of your tracks uh, whilst we were waiting for you to come. And um, the yeah. wait was, is actually really, really worth it. Always lovely to see you, Rick. So um, you've disappeared to, um, you've disappeared to Barbados. So let me start by asking you, why have you disappeared to Barbados? Um, oh. um, why? Mm. Well, it's better weather here, it's nice. You know? <laughs> Your day starts early here and finishes early, so you get the rest of the you know, it's a you know, the sea, the ocean, healthy living. I mean, <clears throat> with the COVID thing, I mean, with in England and what's going on out there, my god, I really don't want to come back to England to tell you the truth. But my family, my friends are there, I'm missing my friends and my grandchildren and stuff like that. But Barbados is beautiful, it's nice. The Caribbean is beautiful. Everybody needs to start buying land and building in the Caribbean. So can I ask you, are you Barbadian? My, my parents are Bajan, yes. My parents, my mother, my father was from St. Lucie, um, Barbados, and then my mother was from St. Peter's in Barbados, yeah. So, you know, I was raised, well, I was raised, I, I would say, I, I was I was raised in uh, Tottenham, Kingston, Jamaica. <laughs> all of my all of my friends, all my god friends, all my children, all from Jamaica. I didn't even realize what what what, what Barbe, where Barbados was when I was growing up as a kid. And everybody used to take the Mickey and my mum. See what's what's your mum saying? What, what did your mum just say? <laughs> it was always funny, you know. She, she, they took the Mickey out of her accent, you know, a Bayesian accent. But yeah. So when did you first uh, experience Barbados then? How old was you when you first experienced Barbados? Well, my father brought me here when I was 16. That was the first time I ever came to Barbados and um, I met my grandparents and stuff like that. And the weather was good, it was nice. And I um, spent good quality time with my father. Uh, while he, and I had to look after him while he got drunk every single night. Because he, had, he hadn't been to Barbados for like 30 five years so when he when we landed here he got we we both got kidnapped by all of his friends and family and and we you know every night was just getting drunk and drinking and it was so, so excited to see him and yeah and um you know it was my first experience of going to the caribbean and you know the sea the ocean and you know the freedom that you have here you know it's, you're a lot more free to do what you want here you know well, let me just go back a little bit to what you just said about getting drunk, and I just want to know if the tipple, <laughs> if the tipple is the same as the the, U, the, the West Indies. Sorry, Jamaica, duh, yes. uh, Jamaica, because Jamaica is Ray and nephew, and, and so we like to say yes. Ray and, and, and his drunk nephew. And it was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the real strong drunk. What do you call it? Drunk abati. Junk abati. That's it. Is that the yeah. one where they put the weed in the weed in it at the bottom? Listen, that one there, you won't last with that, you know. But my favorite rum is Ray Nephew. That's my personal favorite here. 
you know, the scent and the smell. I love it, you know. And I always make my rum punches with the rare nephew. nephew. So what is it in Barbados mm-hmm. then? Because when I was in Antigua, oh. Antigua has their own rum as well, which is absolutely delicious. So delicious that I bought three variants yeah. of the um, the rum home with me when I was there last. What, what, what yeah. is it in Barbados? Well, you have Mount Gear, which is very, very popular here, Mount Gear rum. And then you have Cockspur. And uh, what's, what's that one? Is that? That's the main one. Mount Gear rum is, you know, XO, Mount Gear. That's the one that's, you know. And, um, you know, you can't, this every day, you know, everybody's offering you drinks and, and everything here. You can't stop. You know, last night we, um, because it's crop over time in Barbados, but obviously there's no crop over. Yes, yes. So everybody was here last night. My sons are here. But, um, Brandon's here, my 23-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> and Jordan just came in last year from England, my middle son. He's 28. And all of his friends were out around here last night. We were all drinking, having a good time. And plus, we're still um, on curfew. So everybody has to be in by 11 o'clock. Wow, so night, you've got you know, go, so, 11 o'clock in, 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 in um, Barbados then is yeah, it for you? Yeah, but here, because everybody's here, you know, around the pool, everybody just have a good time, and the kids were here till about five o'clock this morning, you know. <laughs> so, how long have you been in Barbados then? Well, um, well, basically, um, you know, I built, built this uh, Mullins Heights about. So how 12 years ago. Can I just ask, like, well, um, I know that they're listening to, the, I did suggest that they put on the phone and watch the show, but I can hear like mm-hmm. our voice coming back. So maybe mm-hmm. um, they can just mute it and then watch it back yeah. later, but they can see it. Cause I can hear our conversation coming back to us. Yes. So oh, there's somebody, a, some, I'm, just, you're, I'm watching you're, it right now. Yeah, so mute it, it, but don't, don't turn it off. Mute it so that you can see yourself and see what's going okay. out. But just mute Linda, the sound. Elaine says to mute to mute it or something like that. Oh, I will do. Sorry, Elaine. All right, so so leave the visuals on, but just mute it so that we don't hear ourselves coming back to us. So in case you've just joined us, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so, so much for choosing the great vibes and good, glorious <laughs> music, live syndicated show. And right now we're in Barbados with one of our UK legends. Uh, that is uh, Rick Clark. <laughs> we grew up on Rick Clark. And what we love about Rick Clark is that, nah. you know, when I was listening it's, to it's, all of your tunes. It's, it's yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. We all came up together, me and you, in the, the circuit. I mean, you know, you're an icon, you're a legend in our community, and we love you so much. But me and you, we all grew up together. That's right. Jazzy B, all of us together, we to rave parties together. You're one of the, you were the first successful female DJ in our history books in England, coming up in England. Oh, thank, yeah? thank you. You started the ball rolling, sweetheart, you know, and we had such brilliant times together partying every week and going out and listening to you play music you know thank you, know, you for so saying really that you. thank <laughs> you thank you for saying that but you know it's not it's about not... me it's about you and i just want to let the people know for people that don't know this is my son I know, son, and look at son, look at you. <laughs> Don't bother to put your top back on. You might as well just leave it off. We've seen it already. What are you putting it on? <laughs> What's your name then, son? Brandon, Brandon. Come here, come on. Brandon. Come on, Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> so you decided to follow dad out to uh, Barbados, did you? They would keep, keep an eye on him, you know? <laughs> and so, so how have you found Barbados? Um, hot, hot for one. It's um, very different from, from London, but... I'm enjoying myself out here. I can't. I can't ask very much more. So, have you just come over for holiday, or, or are you there for work, permanently? For work. Are yeah, you, yeah, you're there for work. Charge. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's in charge of the. He's in charge of the place here now. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so you don't miss London then? Um, sometimes I do. Occasionally. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in case you're listening, we're, we're actually on Zoom at the moment. And if you want to see what's going on, please do hit, hit us up on Facebook. Look for Elaine Smith official yeah. and you'll see Rick Clark and his half-dressed son, his gorgeous <laughs> wife. And I think we've got somebody else coming into shot here. Who's this? Liam, this, Liam, this is Liam, my son's friend. He's from, from Canada, isn't it? Uh, 
kind of, I'm studying in Canada. He's studying in Canada. <laughs> They're getting ready to go down to the beach, you boys, you know? <laughs> yeah. But we're going to bring you out here, uh, Elaine, to play uh, um, our next event we're having in Barbados. When's yeah, that then? When's hmm? that? Do you know next when that year. is? Well, next year, we're looking at trying to do things for next year um, because obviously the COVID thing has just shut down the whole world from doing any kind of event. And obviously, you know, we used to do, we do St. Lucia Jazz and stuff like that, and we've not been able to do anything, you know, it's just absolutely crazy, you know? And uh, one of the most important festivals here in Barbados is Crop Over. Thousands of people, but mind you, there are quite a few people coming from the islands. Um, yesterday I was on the beach, on Mullins Beach, which is just down the road, you know, we had quite a few people out there enjoying themselves in the sun, you know? But yeah, but um, we're hoping to get back in action uh 20 2022 you know and um start getting people out here and um because you know we've had the you know we had the the ban on flights coming in and you know it's just been crazy actually you know well you know <laughs> i cannot wait i cannot wait for you to get those gigs together because i'm telling you now I am saying yes to your invitation. I will definitely be there. But you know, this is all about you. And for a lot of people that doesn't know you, who don't know you, um, I want to introduce them to you. You know, you are one of our heroes, our cornerstones, yeah. UK heroes. Yeah. And, and you know, and effortlessly. And the thing is, is that when I was listening to your tunes today, and you've got titles like friends, you've got titles like family, you've got titles like love, you know, when you were making them back in the day, anyone would think that, oh, you know, you're just making them because you're making tunes. But when I see how you've turned out, you are just a family man. You know, you're with your gorgeous yeah. wife. I've even got a photograph here of you and your wife when you first got married <laughs> at such a very young age. Your beautiful children. You're in Barbados now with your children. All yeah. of your tunes seem to depict your life. When you were making those tunes uh, back in the day, were they based on your life or, or was it, I mean, tell me about the, the tunes yeah. like Perfect Lady, because I'm now convinced yeah. that you made that for Glenda. Yes, well, yes, actually, um, we met each other at that time, yeah, right, and uh, what well, let me see. Um, yes, yes, you, you know, I, I got my deal with RCA Records at that, at that time, mm. through that song, um, and I really want to be with you. Yeah, that was a big tune at the time as well. So yeah, but I think she fell in love with "I Really Want to Be with You." So if I didn't make that song, she probably <laughs> wouldn't have married me. You know? <laughs> I wonder if I've got this one there. I really want to be with you. And so, what was it? <laughs> what was it that you know? Because I know that. Us ladies, when we see a successful marriage like this, I'm going to digress a little bit. Tell us, what was it about Glenda that made you think, this is my wife, this is the person that I really want to be with? Nice. What was it? Well, um, she's a great personality, she's beautiful, and um, she would never give up. She made sure she kept firm on me, you know, and... Uh, I had no, my eyes for, for nobody else after that. And then, um, yeah. What do you mean? She stalked you? Did she stalk you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> she just kept on. She said, you know what? She didn't give up on me. Because you know what? Them days, there was a lot of girls around and stuff like that. You know? mm. <laughs> there was a lot of yeah. good things going on. And she was persistent. And she knew what she wanted. Mm. And I knew what I wanted, so yeah. That's how I have it. So I guess what you're just to translate, if I know what you're saying, is that back yeah. in the day, you know, for a young black man to have his eyes set on a particular career, especially when he's working for himself, there's going to be times of poverty. There's going to be times of drought. And if you've got a woman next to you and she's looking at you, even through the times of drought, she's not yeah. giving up on you. She's saying, she you know what, I, you've got potential. But actually, I love you. Is that what you mean? Yeah. yeah. So we went through all of the trials and tribulations that we went through. She was stuck with me. And we stuck with each other and fought together, we fight together, you know? And so we're here together trying to make sure we pay all the bills and keep moving <laughs> forward with our kids and our family. Together. You know, I love to have my grandchildren. Now. Got, we have two grandchildren now. Mm. For our firstborn child, which is Miles, he's in England. Yeah. Hi, son, if you can see us. And um, 
we've got two beautiful grandchildren, Mila, who is five, and we have Nori, who's two. <clears throat> and we're hoping to pray that we can get them out here to Barbados as soon as well, you know? <clears throat> well, listen, I have to play the tune that um, got you your deal and got you your wife. I really want to be with you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> in case you've just joined us, thank you so much for choosing the great vibes and good glorious music. We are speaking with the one and only Rick Clark, and this is the tune that you've heard it from himself. He said if he did not make this tune, his wife Glenda, his beautiful wife Glenda, would <laughs> not have married him. Here it is. And we love this tune, and thank you so much, Glenda, for making him make this. Thank you. <laughs> I'm in the background. <laughs> Buckley's Country Club in Antigua says, Big up, Rick Clark. A very good morning to you. I do believe that's Anthony Brightley who's coming up shortly. Anthony, my brother, my brother, my brother, my Anthony, we all grew up together. Sir George, Sound System, QBs. We all grew up together. So, and I've gone to Antigua quite a bit with them. Um, I go with uh, Jazzy B. And I go to Jazzy B's house. And, Steve Christopher Anthony, we all hang out together in the Caribbean. So you all need to move out to the Caribbean. Come on, come on. Well, your testimony. Let's have a listen to this tune. you've just joined us thank you so much for choosing the great vibes and good glorious music right here on oh with me elaine smith we're in barbados at the moment we're speaking to rick clark look how fantastic he looks i've got to tell you we're going to take him up on his invitation and get ourselves out to the caribbean it doesn't matter. Do you know what? <laughs> Can you hear me, Rick? Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Say again. Sorry, sorry, Lena. Did you hear that? Sorry. Well, look, you know, um, before we run out of time, because we've got our next guest coming up in a short, short while. So, um, Perfect Lady, was that the one that actually put you on the, the map? Because I, I, I remember that being the first one that we really knew about Rick Clark. That really blew up that that one yeah because i got my i didn't actually they didn't actually um release that with rca records yeah but that was one of the main ones you know a perfect lady <clears throat> but then see along the way took me to other heights you know um but perfect lady was fantastic everybody loved it, it was um that's actually the only track that i ever done one vocal one take <clears throat> i sang it in one take you know, <laughs> I was trying to Amazing. fall to say, oh, no, I need to do this. I need to, I need to do this. But the guy said, no, I'm the, no, no, it's perfect. The well, one take and um, the, the video, um, you saw the video that we'd we done. Um, yeah. The perfect lady there. That was done. Was you there as well? Were you there that time? Huh? We had a lovely day out in Cookham yeah. and we filmed the video down in Cookham and it was a brilliant day, lovely weather. And yeah, um, that record's done a lot for me, um, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And so we know that you've worked a lot with Donny oh. and the likes of. Who else have you worked with? Well, number one, I've got to say hi to Donny and the family and Sam and Marley, the his beautiful daughter, his daughter. Um, I love Donny, we really work well together. We write so fast and we've done so many songs together. Um, Obviously, Friends, which was went, went to number one couple, well, last year, a couple years ago, and um, that was really, really nice. We actually wrote that song here in Barbados three years before he released it. Wow. You know, you could not believe that. And um, I didn't finish the second verse, so then Donny put his rap on it and completed the song, you know? But yeah, um, well, you know, I've worked with quite a few artists, uh, Jazzy B, So to So, um, Shirley Jones from Jones Girls and lots of other artists and stuff like that. Omar, I do lots, did a lot quite a few things with Omar. And you know, I've flown them out to St. Lucia Jazz to perform for London Elite. 
And um, yeah. yeah. So you see, you. like London Elite, all right. Um, it feels to me that you were the, one of the first outfits to take people away from the UK to the Caribbean. I mean, that must have been a scary task. Uh, you, I mean, you know, where did the concept come from? Um, well, you know what? Um, I used to go on RGS holidays, yeah? Um, well, actually, I got invited to do a concert at RGS. God bless Ruddy Ferron, my brother, up there in the skies. We love you, Ruddy, always forever. And the guys from RGS, the RGS team for Sweden and all of that. And I used to go to... They invited me over to um, to, to um, was it not Spain was it one of the holidays of, in Spain, and it was such a great atmosphere. I saw everybody was just one family and party every night, and I thought, you know what, let me take this concept to the Caribbean, and um, yeah, it was for me bringing all the artists so we can show our talent, British talent in in the Caribbean. And so the main place that we first went to was Antigua. We took 150 people. Actually, sorry, it was Orlando, Florida. We took the first trip was Orlando, Florida. We took about 160 people. Then we went to Antigua. That was brilliant. But the one that really stood out was St. Lucia. <clears throat> St. Lucia really looked after us out there. They treat us so well and then um, then we asked I had to bring all the artists out to show our talent British talent so Omar Donny God bless Louisa Marx he took mm. Louisa Marx to everybody wow. to St Lucia Curtis Walker <laughs> Curtis Walker Wendy as well Rollins. wonderful yeah <laughs> huh? Huh? Curtis Walker as well amazing I yeah. took Curtis out there twice I, 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 I love Curtis yeah funny enough too. I <laughs> I was I did a concert in England last week. I, they flew me out to do Alexander Palace, yeah. and Curtis was there. Oh, <laughs> hysterical, you know. Yeah, and, um, he is. You know, I got to, you know, chance to fly them all out. Even Shirley Jones, I flew out to St. Lucia Jazz, and Louisa Marks, I flew her out. God bless her. She, you know, she's not here with us, and she was brilliant. And uh, quite a few other artists. Um, I and all the DJs, all the DJs that we flew out there just. To put our parties together, they were absolutely brilliant. Our beach parties, the St. Lucia government really looked after us and made sure that they, you know, we were able to do all the things, have our good time parties, our boat parties. It was brilliant. Beautiful. Well, look, we can't wait for you to bring that all back. I can't believe that time has gone so quickly. I mean, I'm looking at the lineup for this show and directly you need a whole show with me as like Anthony <laughs> Brightly. You know, there's there's just not enough time to speak to you because you've done so, uh, so much. And I do remember that uh, Glenda as well was always at the Afro Hair and Beauty exhibition with her right, gorgeous yes. wigs, you know. <laughs> um, she was head and head with the Americans in you know, yeah. in a style that she was doing in the West End, just behind Knightsbridge yes, there. Yeah. So see, for yeah, me, yeah. I see mm. you two as like a royal couple. You know, it oh, wasn't wow. just you doing something, your <laughs> wife was doing something <laughs> as well and, yeah. and, and making the way for all of us. So we thank mm. you and we God bl and may God bless you all the time, you, you know, thank and you. you've definitely left a baton for the youngers to pick up and continue with. Oh, God bless. You Thank look you. amazing. You really do, the both <laughs> of you. you. And it's and you just too, wonderful. You just wonderful. <laughs> so I'm going to play out now with two of your tracks. Um, oh, listen see... to me. Happy birthday to your son as well. He's 40th, right? I reminded you last Yes, night. you did. His birthday was actually in January, but I'm, I'm just yeah. really taken aback that you actually remember that detail about me. So yeah, thank I you. I remember doing the, voiceovers for you and you booking me and stuff like that. Mm. And we're one big family. You know, we're one big yeah. family. Oh, I keep yeah. telling my listeners that I'm so blessed because practically everyone that comes on my show, they are mm. my friends. And my friends yeah. happen to be doing really wonderful things. We party things. hard. Me, we and party we did hard. Party we, did. Hard. Oh, my Lord. we partied hard. We partied hard. <laughs> so I don't know what they're talking about, <laughs> but, you know, it's your very morning. <laughs> Rick and family, thank you so much. Big hug, big kiss, no God social you, distancing thank between you, us. Little, and we look cool. forward to My seeing you. My friends and so. family in England, we love you and around the world. Thank you for playing my music, buy my music. Thank you, Elaine. God bless you, God sweetheart. bless you. And this one's yeah. perfect, Keep lady. Keep up the good work. Don't ever, yeah? Keep up the good work, Elaine. You're brilliant. Thank you. You're a hero. 
Oh, yeah. thank you. Love you, babes. Big kiss. Mwah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>